Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Minecraft for completely free. Zero dollars spent. So what you first what you want to do is you want to open up Google and you want to go to the link in this description. Minecrafter.info And I can't spell. It will take you to this site. So Minecrafter, it is a free alternative to the main Minecraft Online services. So once you're on this site, what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on the Get Started, which will tell you to log in, set a username on the settings page, set a skin and or cloak, download the launcher, and start the, start the launcher, and then log in to, with any username you want, the password doesn't matter, and it must match the one you signed in. So what you want to do is go to the login section now you want to do oh, so what you want to do is in here you want to enter your email so i haven't got an email set up right now so i'm just going to quickly do that on my second screen so okay so you want to put in your email address and you want to click login or sign up now you might get this error if you do don't worry, you can sign in with your Google account or your Microsoft account. I'm going to pick my Google account. Okay, so as you can see, now I'm logged in. So the next thing they did was they said to set a username on the settings page. I'm going to just set a username. I'm just going to set that my username is that. So now it's saved my username. Now it's asking for a skin URL. So I'm just going to set the character model and then to get a skin URL, you want to want to go to something like minecraftskins.com and then on the skin deck so let's just pick uh we'll go for go for this uh skin here so then what you want to do is you want to go to the you want to click on image link which will give you the link to the image then you should want to double check that actually leads to the image. It does. So then you want to put in the image URL and you want to click save and it has set the skin. So then, then it says set skin or cloaks so and you want to download the launcher. You will need Java 8 or newer. So then you want to click on this, click on keep and then you want to run the launcher. So what this what will happen is you will see this pop up, Minecraft launcher. Let's so just give it a moment. It will just take a moment. What it's doing right now is it's just trying to load the required stuff for the launcher. So if it fails the first time, just press the X button, go to your file manager and open it again. And then just wait. Okay, so um, I've just tried launching the launcher again, and as you can see this time, it has loaded. So it was if you used the new launcher or you've downloaded the Minecraft launcher, it will pop up with this saying, it looks like you've used a new version. You just want to click, I'm sure I'll reset my settings. This does mean that you will have to log in again with your launcher if you do decide to use the launcher. As you can see, if I open up the actual Minecraft launcher, as, as you will see... Just give it just a moment to load. Oh. Never mind. It didn't reset. Okay, no. It resets this. So it resets all your installations. You have to add those all back in by going in and doing that. But that's fine. So, so what you want to do is you want to enter the password that you got from the uh, website. So I'm going to put my password in. And you want to put any password in. And then as you can see, it says you're running an old version. Legacy launcher update. So it ends, this is ended support for Legacy Launcher. Do not worry though, this will still work. So basically this launcher will not work anymore. This page will just go to um, nothing. 
So this won't exist anymore on here. But we'll but ignore that. Go to launch a log. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to go down here to edit profile. And you're going to want to tick launch visibility and change that to hide launcher and reopen when game closes. Then you're going to want to point it to your Java directory. So you see mine's on the F drive under Java bin Java w.exe. And if you want to change how much RAM, you change this first bit here. So because I have 16 gigs, I'm going to allocate 8. And then here's where we want to choose your version. I'm just going to go 1.8.9. And then you want to click Save Profile and click Play. Now, if you get stuck on this screen and it doesn't load, you can see it cannot find msstarter.jar. So they talk about this on the website. So... All you want to do is you want to go back to the website mineshafter.info and then it says if I can find it should be on the downloads yeah here we are you want to open it you want to copy the saves folder delete the directory start launcher and then basically it says to do this you don't need to do this Go to the link in the description. I obviously don't have the link in the description yet, so I'm just going to find it. But I'm going to go to the link in the description. And you want to download msstarter.jar. So they're saying just copy the launcher and rename it to msstarter.jar. So... I'm going to try that method, just because I have a feeling it might work, but I'm not too certain because I've tried this before and it didn't quite work, so... So they say supposedly this works, so um, let's find out. Let me just drop this into the folder, and then if I... So I'm just going to close the launcher and relaunch it. Here we go. So I'm just going to hit play. And then as you can see, it's now loaded. So if you look here, Minecraft 1.8.9. Goes to the Mojang site. It has the Mojang logo. And as you can see, this is fully working Minecraft. And we did not pay a penny now. You can't join servers like Hypixel. Because it will say you can't authenticate your connection. But you can join servers like Crackpixel dot com or sorry crackpixel dot net so you can join when it's not in maintenance you can join servers like crackpixel there's also other servers like uh I'll find it Let's change this one as play dot pika net work dot net dot dot net there's the servers like this it's also cracked cracked minecraft and as you can see upon joining oh i have chat disabled one second there we go so it'll, it'll ask you to log in obviously someone has already used this so i'm just gonna yeah look wrong password someone's already stolen my username so that is the only problem with cracked servers that they use a different authentication method than um, normal servers like Hypixel. But this will still work for single players. So if I create a new world, right here, just create a new world, load it up, and um, as you can see, it has worked. And also, my skin has loaded that I selected and I'm playing and your frame rate will be fine if I turn off the sync real quick As you can see my frame rate is at a nice solid 2 300 and this is the full version of Minecraft this goose works in versions all the way up to latest and also the snapshots and everything because it literally just grabs them off of the official Minecraft servers anyways I hope this tutorial helped and thank you for watching if this tutorial, tutorial did help you, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.